This year, I've been lucky enough to be given two devices which can be used to detect charge. Firstly, the Lascelles electric field detector, and thank you to Lascelles for sending that to me. And secondly, a simple device using a field effect transistor, an LED and a PP3 battery to also detect charge. Thank you to physics technician Andrei Tretyakov for sending that to me. The Lascelles detector is very straightforward to use. Here we see the effect of bringing a negatively charged polythene rod towards it. Sometimes it gets charged by induction and you have to press the reset button, but that isn't a problem. You get an indication of the size of the charge by how many LEDs light up, and using a positively charged acetate rod, we can see that the other LEDs, the red LEDs, light up with that one. Again, every so often you'll need to reset it because it becomes charged by induction. As well as using charged rods, a nice little demonstration that you can do is to peel off some sellotape and you can see that the peeled off surface is here positively charged and the reel left behind is negatively charged, which is a nice demonstration of the separation of charges. To reset the field effect transistor detector, you just have to touch the floating leg. Here we can see that we can increase the brightness of the LED by bringing a positively charged rod towards it, which reduces the size of the depletion zone. And if we bring a negatively charged polythene rod towards it, then it increases the size of the depletion zone and turns off the LED. This detector is very simple and cheap to build, so you could easily make a class set or have it as a project for students to build. A detailed set of instructions of how to build it and use it is included as a linked PDF in the description from the Science on Stage Festival 2017. The Lascelles detector is very easy for a non-specialist teacher to use. It is clear for a large group of students to see at the same time, so it's ideal to use in demonstrations where you want students to be able to understand whether something is positive or negatively charged. For example, when you're demonstrating the force between like and opposite charges. There are lots of more advanced experiments possible as well, which I hope to explore in later videos.